Welcome to our channel, it's a pleasure to have you here. If you haven't already, do remember to hit that subscribe button. Today, we delve into the rise of a man known as The Fly, a nickname that paints a vivid picture of his buzzing presence in the corridors of power and his irritating persistence. This is the story of Simon Case, a man who once soared high in the political sphere, not unlike the insect he was named after. Simon Case was not just any fly on the wall, he was a figure that buzzed with an energy that was hard to ignore. He was ubiquitous, always in the thick of things, and his persistence was as relentless as it was irritating. His career was marked by controversy, a series of events that left a bitter taste in the mouths of many. From the get-go, the fly seemed to have an uncanny knack for finding himself in the midst of controversy. His mistreatment of certain high-profile individuals earned him notoriety, and he became a figure of contention, a symbol of the discord that often plagues the political world. He was a man who stirred the pot, who reveled in the chaos, and who was often at the heart of the storm. But as we know, every action has an equal and opposite reaction. The fly's buzzing presence and his irritating persistence, which once propelled him to the top, would soon become his downfall. His controversial career, marked by alleged mistreatment of high-profile individuals, was about to catch up with him. The fly was about to get swatted. Just as flies are often swatted away, so too was the fly about to face his swatting. The rise of Simon Case, the fly, is a story of a man who flew too close to the sun. And as we'll see in the next episode, it's also a story of a fall that was as dramatic as his rise. Stay tuned as we unravel the intricate tapestry of this fascinating character's journey and the lessons it holds for us all. The buzz around the fly wasn't just his presence, but also his actions. You see, Simon Case, or the fly as he was known, was not just a figure of authority, he was a figure of contention. His actions, particularly those directed towards Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, were viewed by many as not just controversial, but downright malicious. The allegations against Case were far from trivial. He was accused of mistreating these high-profile figures, his actions drawing criticism from the public and media alike. The narrative painted was one of a man who seemed to take pleasure in causing discomfort and discord. Case's dealings with Harry and Meghan were seen not just as a misuse of power, but as a personal vendetta. The couple's decision to step back from royal duties, a move that shocked the world, was widely viewed as a direct consequence of the relentless pressure exerted by the fly. The criticism levelled against Case was severe and widespread. His actions were seen as a direct affront to the couple's dignity and privacy, and the public was not shy about voicing its disapproval. The media was awash with condemnation, with commentators questioning the ethics of a man who seemed to wield his power with such disregard for the well-being of others. But let's not forget the personal aspect of this saga. For Harry and Meghan, this was not just a professional ordeal, but a deeply personal one. They found themselves at the mercy of a man who seemed to take delight in their distress. A man who, it appeared, was willing to use his position to further his own agenda at their expense. But as it's often said, what goes around comes around. The allegations against the fly were damning and the criticism was fierce. Little did he know that his actions would not only lead to his downfall, but also have a profound impact on his own health. As we will see in the next scene, the consequences of his actions were far-reaching and severe. In a twist of fate, the fly found himself swatted by the very forces he sought to control. The downfall of the fly, or Simon Case, is a tale replete with poetic justice. Once a buzzing presence in the corridors of power, he found himself grounded, his wings clipped by the very winds of controversy he had once stirred. A man known for his sting, Case's actions, allegedly marred by the mistreatment of high-profile individuals, eventually came back to haunt him. The stress of his actions, the discord he sowed, began to take a toll on his own well-being. It was as if the universe was teaching him a lesson, a lesson that those who sow discord often reap the whirlwind. And what a whirlwind it was. His health deteriorated, and he found himself departing on health grounds, a fitting end to a career that was anything but healthy. The buzzing fly was now silent, grounded by the very controversy he had once reveled in. His downfall was swift and spectacular, as if the universe itself had swatted the fly. But what makes this tale even more poignant is the poetic justice that it embodies. A man once known for his sting, 
for his irritating persistence, was now feeling the sharp bite of consequence. His actions, his discord, his controversies had all boomeranged back to him, wreaking havoc on his own nervous system. It's a stark reminder that karma waits for no one. It's a lesson in the power of accountability, the power of justice. And in this case, the justice was poetic, the irony palpable. The man who had once been a thorn in the side of many was now feeling the sting of his own actions. Those who sow discord often reap its bitter harvest, and in this case, the harvest was particularly bitter. The fall of the fly serves as a poignant reminder of this universal truth, a truth that stands as a testament to the power of accountability in the face of injustice and the swift hand of karmic justice. As the dust settles on this latest shake-up, the impact of the fly's actions are still being felt. Now that Simon Case, the man once buzzing in the corridors of power, has been grounded, the aftermath of his departure is as turbulent as his reign. The repercussions of his actions have rippled through the lives of those he allegedly mistreated, leaving a trail of discord in his wake. High-profile individuals, once the target of his persistent meddling, have spoken out about the relief they feel in his absence. But it isn't just these individuals who have been affected. The wider political landscape has also felt the tremors of his departure. The vacuum left by the fly's exit has been filled with a sense of unease. The corridors of power, once abuzz with his relentless energy, now echo with whispers of apprehension. His departure has triggered a re-evaluation of the balance of power, prompting those left behind to question their own actions and the effect they have on others. At the same time, there's a palpable sense of poetic justice. The man once known for his sting now feels the sharp bite of consequence. The stress and negativity he so freely disseminated have boomeranged back to him, wreaking havoc on his own well-being. This is a stark reminder that those who sow discord often reap its bitter harvest. The fall of the fly has served as a wake-up call to those who wield power without considering its potential for harm. His downfall is a stark reminder of the importance of treating others with respect and dignity, regardless of their status or position. But perhaps the most significant impact of the fly's departure lies in the powerful message it sends about accountability. His alleged misdeeds have been exposed, and he has faced the consequences of his actions. This serves as a stark reminder that no one, no matter how high they fly, is above reproach. The strict criticism levelled at his ill actions now stands as a testament to the power of accountability in the face of injustice. In the end, the fly's story serves as a stark reminder. A narrative that began with a rapid ascent up the ladder of power, punctuated by questionable actions and culminated in a spectacular downfall. This tale, as intriguing as it is, offers us some profound lessons. First and foremost, it highlights the significance of accountability in our actions. In the corridors of power, where the stakes are high and the glare of the public eye is unrelenting, every action carries with it an echo of consequence. The fly, in his buzzing persistence and alleged mistreatment of certain individuals, seemed to have forgotten this crucial element. As the saying goes, what goes around comes around. And in his case, the echoes of his actions returned as a resounding gong of retribution. This tale also emphasizes an age-old wisdom. Those who sow discord often reap the whirlwind. The negativity and stress he allegedly propagated did not vanish into thin air. Instead, it boomeranged back, wreaking havoc on his own well-being. It's a potent reminder of the interconnectedness of our actions and their repercussions. Indeed, the world we live in is a vast web of cause and effect, and every action, no matter how insignificant it may seem, weaves a thread in this intricate tapestry. Lastly, this saga underscores the poetic justice inherent in life. The man once known for his sting now feels the sharp bite of consequence. The high-flying fly has been grounded, a clear testament to the power of karma. In the grand scheme of things, it's a humbling reminder that no one is above the natural laws of cause and effect. Thank you for watching and remember to subscribe, like and share. Until next time, keep buzzing with curiosity and always seek the truth. Goodbye.